Hi, my name is Renee Fon. Fun fact, I'm not human half goat. Please don't get me mixed up just because of my surname. I'm 100% Malaysian from Ban Lepas, Penang. I'm currently an MCL student taking the American Degree Transfer Program for a year now and this means that I'm into my sophomore year. At first, college life was new and unfamiliar to me but in my second semester, I was able to completely settle down and see my grades gradually improving and it's all thanks to the support, availability of materials and the willingness from the lecturers to gear the students to their interests or even foster new skills in them. And in my case, I learned techniques to study smarter. <laughs> well, because it's already 21st century. Uh, I learned to be more comfortable when speaking to crowds, voice out my opinions and appreciate different perspectives. I will share two fondest memories I had in MCL. One was when I joined my orientation camp as a freshman. Uh, I met with some new friends and got to engage in team building games where you're gonna get wet and tired. <laughs> but after I became a senior, we got the opportunity to organize orientation camps for the freshmen in return. Another fond memory was my involvement in the Christian Fellowship Clubs and Societies. I was initially one of the department heads and continued to take on more roles because I love being part of the community. I can confidently say that MCKL is my second home. Um, I personally miss sitting in the same spot in the library <laughs> and during lunch period, I would often order my typical nasi lemak goreng with chicken. <laughs> I love the cafeteria. <laughs> oh, oh yes, and MCKL students also follow a tradition where we would bring freshmen or friends out to Mama. If you manage to come to MCKL, we'll bring you out. Let's go Mama. As soon as you come to MCKL, like I said, Freshmen have orientation camps that no other institution really offers. It's a great way to start college because the camp is where you can build friendships just in case you won't be lonely when classes begin. We have a number of other programs and that are very relatable and sought after in the current and future job market. In terms of activities, we have clubs and societies that you can join to further showcase your interests and build the soft skills needed in leading a team or organizing any events that you desire. For instance, we have the Model United Nation, pre med Club, Music, Performing Arts, TED Ed, Engineering, Coding, Japanology, Volleyball, Football, you name it. You can even come up with your own club and that's how flexible MCKL is. It is also compulsory for all to go through character formation and service learning because MCKL values strong moral character in students. For those who are in need of emotional support, especially when college students, including myself, do go through burnouts, but we have a student support service that is free and you can absolutely use this service anytime. One time, I received a stress ball and the staff was distributing exam blessings to students, which was a welfare pack that had snacks and refreshments. It was really nice of them. If you'd like to be a trained peer supporter yourself, MCKL does provide free modules for this and you can even earn certificates by being a peer tutor as well. Um, but I think this mainly applies if you join ADTP. I'm still sure that you'll find other opportunities in other programs. We have a podcast known as GGWP, Good Game, Whole Person. They openly discuss adulting without being insulting. That's their tagline. You can check them out on Instagram and MCKL GGWP. I do follow them and watch their podcast weekly. Again, if you come to MCKL, you can definitely maximize your time here. The most important value that I gain from MCKL that I will bring forward into my life is to always find meaning or reason in what I do. And by doing that, I learn not to separate faith and work as two different spheres. It's actually an uprising issue that many students think that the more activities or projects that they carry upon themselves, the more that they've added to their worth. No, that's absolutely false. Try to look at the quality over the quantity. It's easier said than done, but it is highly true. Do what you're passionate about and don't use other people's success to define your own success. Never do that. MCKL has really humbled me in various ways. I used to be impulsive, but right now I'm better at working in team settings and you know, being more empathetic with those around me. Genuine, special,
community, why genuine? If you nudge the lecturers or advisors for personal real life advice, perhaps about boy girl relationships or sharing your problems such as not having the motivation to study, they will try to make time to listen. But in other words, they didn't just focus on how well I did in a test, they also educated me as a whole to be more aware of my own well being. And why special? MSCAL strives for excellence in both academic achievement and moral values. They have trained me to be an all-rounder and I thank you for that. And lastly, community. I wasn't alone on this journey. There is sufficient support that I've received in MSCAL, whether spiritually, emotionally, or mentally. Life in college is short, and students usually stay for one and a half years to two years. And especially when I'm someone who loves to interact with people, I certainly still had a chance to build strong relationships, nevertheless. But on top of what I've shared so far, there are four things. One, MSCAL is a closely needed institution. This means that you can have a better interactions with the lecturers. Two, MSCAL has a record of 100% passing rate for the eight consecutive years, which is such an achievement. And just recently, a Star newspaper reported that MSCAL broke the A-level record. So. Good job, guys. Other than that, MSCAL has plenty of scholarships available. And lastly, the cafeteria sells affordable and good Malaysian food. My heritage. <laughs> Specifically, Baba Nonia. Well, other than that, I can speak the dialect Hokkien. I know where the real Huat local Penang food stores are that foreigners might overlook. And even though I'm a Penang Knight, I still can't get over the food here. So. If you come to Penang and would like to compliment a dish to the, the auntie or uncle, you can say Hotia <laughs> in Hokkien, meaning delicious, or Kamsia, meaning thank you. And of course, I love my culture and the people here as well. We'll always be a proud Penang night.